the players, they know how we work and how we approach the games. And this is Rafa's team, full of attacking intent. Fernando Torres, who's missed the last two matches, has been past fit and he starts. They've got a lot of their big players here tonight. We wondered the likes of Torres, for instance, was he going to be fit, wasn't he? Delighted to see that, uh, that he's here, he's involved tonight. He's, got, he's had, a, he's had uh, injury problems this season. Well, of course, we haven't really seen the very best of him, but there could be no better game for him tonight than to really try and get him in a top gear uh, than this one. You know, I think uh, everyone will be looking forward to seeing how Fernando Torres play. At stake. Commentary comes from Jim Beglin, a European Cup finalist with Liverpool. And first of all, from Clyde Tilsley. Thank you, Steve. Good evening, everybody. An atmospheric setting for a meeting of royalty. Real Madrid, the most decorated club in European football. And on the back of it, I'd love to see Liverpool with an early charge at Real Madrid. Go at them at real pace, put them under pressure, see if they can cope. I expect it'll be more tactical than that, though. Fernando Torres looks fit enough. There have been real doubts as to whether he would figure from the outcome all day long here on Merseyside. I think some of those doubts have just been answered. Eluding him. Rolled into Torres, that's clever. Oh, good save by Casillas. Face to face, two of the stars of Spain's European Championship success last summer. And Casillas had the final say. Oh, what about this for a turn? He's completely full Cannavaro, and it's not easy to do that. And I think he's just trying to give Casillas the eyes in the end. Thought he was going to play at one side, went for the near post, and that's a great stop. Under control, here's. Fabio Aurelio, Torres, dispossessed by Pepe, headed by Gerard into the path of Ryan Babel, stepped into traffic but it falls for Gerard again and now Torres with another clever little flick but it's a late challenge on Gerard by Pepe. Fabio Aurelio, Fernando Torres, caught from behind by Pepe and the referee wants to have a word with the Portuguese international centre-back. Well, judging Pepe's caught him, but judging by Pepe's reaction, he's saying, look, I, I haven't caught you that hard. Sergio Ramos, behind you. <laughs> Couldn't hear me. And Torres has looked the liveliest. We've seen him in a while. The Aralini bounce, Pepe rather lost it. Torres almost found it. It's come for Cow. It's Torres! <laughs> Lift off for Liverpool! Fernando Torres gives them the lead on the night. They're still appealing with the referee. I think they're claiming a foul in the end by Dirk Cow on, on Pepe. But it um, looked as if it shouldn't have been given to me. I, I think the contact was minimal once it comes through. They just don't deal with the first one. They've allowed it to bounce. That's a mistake. And Cannavaro's cut out. That's just a mistake by Pepe and a bad mistake. There's no real contact at all from Dirk Cow. It's Torres, it's, actually. It's Torres, you're right. And it's, it's, you know, it's awful, awful defending from Pepe. And Coutts done the sensible thing by pulling it back, and Torres can't miss. I mean, even if he does, Gerrard is just behind him to make sure. I think it's what Liverpool deserves. It's been a great start. He did have a hand on Pepe's shoulder momentarily, but that's all it was. His first Champions League goal of the season takes him into double figures for this injury plague season at last. He scored 25 at this time last year. He's up to 10. Those. 15 goals that Liverpool have been missing have cost them dear. Pepe to, to drop. Real Madrid have 70 minutes to find two goals. Fernando Torres is everywhere tonight. In possession by Xabi Alonso, Torres wants it early, Torres gets it early. There are men over if he can find a cross. Torres, Gerard arriving, oh, Casillas again! Wonderful effort by the Liverpool skipper. I mean, persisted up the left-hand side, and you just think he's going to cross it, and he completely does Sergio Ramos. Lovely little dink, and it's just too much, really, for Gerrard. He's just stretching, does well to... Liverpool, clear daylight, and the quarter-finals beckon yet again for Gerrard. Here on uh, ITV1, later this evening, we've got more live European football on ITV4 on Thursday, Manchester City's UEFA Cup tie against the Danish team Orborg. 
And uh, ITV4 is the place to find Saturday night's British middleweight title fight from Birmingham at 7.45, Saturday night, ITV4. It's just a little late one for me, it's a little sneaky one right into the midriff of Fernando Torres, and that's what he's furious about still with Gabriel Inter. Conversation continues. And now Torres with Gerard breaking ahead of him. He's still able to play him in. Can't say under pressure, and Torres is holding his face again here. That's when he's gone into any sort of challenge. The arms are always up. Now, is he? No, I doubt he stuck his arm out. I don't think he's, uh, he's intended. I don't think it's accidental. Sergio Ramos. Under pressure from Mascherano, gave it straight to Torres. Now he'll run. Cannavaro, who stood his ground, terrific pass from Cow. This is Gerard. Play back into Torres. Away by Ainsen. Ambition from Dirk out in that position. He had some support. That's a lovely ball as well to start it all off. Dirk out to find Steven Gerard, and he just continued the run. Mascherano, because of his style of play, because he's nicking it and niggling, you know, he needs to miss time one now and could be trouble. Here's Fernando Torres. Liverpool's troubles are minor, and Torres is looking for that, been told to play on, he's down, saying he needs treatment, Torres is still down, his boot's coming off, everything has clicked for Liverpool, they've been so good with the ball. From the outset, Fernando Torres scored after 15 minutes. It Torres was, has been like, absolutely inspired, hasn't he? Well, he has been, yeah. He's an Atletico Madrid player, playing against his big rivals from Real Madrid, everyone in Spain watching, and um, mm. he's, he's done some real quality things in his 30, first 45 minutes, Torres. Mm. Here you have to say the tension has been replaced by exhilaration and enjoyment. No one has enjoyed themselves more than Fernando Torres, a man inspired against, well, not quite his hometown club, that was Atletico Madrid, because it's Real, he's enjoyed himself in particular in this first half. <laughs> From Liverpool, and we'll go back to Jim Beglin and Clive Jensen. Madrid on the run, football is excellent. Steven Gerrard puts them over the hills and far away, no way back for Real Madrid now. Diara caught in possession by Alonso, Gerrard to Torres, Baba with a flick, here's Dirk Kaup, here's Steven Gerrard, denied a hat-trick by Casillas, wonderful Liverpool football, wonderful. Mascherano, Torres offside. Yeah, Rafa Benitez just had a little quick chat with uh, Xavi Alonso as he departed the pitch just now, probably just to assess. Here goes Torres. He'd say just about managed to resist. Yeah, maybe just a little bit of tiredness creeping in for Torres, you know, his lack of games in recent times. Round bubble. Fernando Torres! What a save. He is fantastic, Casillas. What might it have been but for him? Well, Jay Spearing won the original challenge, and he followed his run-up, and I thought maybe Fernando Torres was going to have a look at him, but nothing of the sort. That's curling in. That's a great stop again by Casillas. Madrid's best player. Well, Fernando Torres' night is going to be cut short, but only by seven or eight minutes. Really good news, this for Liverpool. Scored in all three knockout rounds in last season's competition. The Champions League continues to produce wonderful moments for the likes of Steven Gerrard and Fernando Torres. Fernando, how close were you to not playing tonight? Because we look down at your ankle there and you've got a, a heck of a, uh, a strapping on it. So was it risky for you tonight? No, no. I was uh, working all the week to try to, to stay fit uh, for this game. It was very important for me to play Real Madrid for my, my pass in Atletico. And it uh, doesn't matter the pain in games like this. So for a former Atletico boy, uh, what did that goal mean? It's very important, uh, of course, uh, for my past, but more for, for the Liverpool fan. Uh, we knew that today was a massive game for us, for all the fans, and I think the, the victory is for them. Steve, if you match that level of performance, well, can you, can you beat Manchester United at the weekend? And, and can you do that consistently now till the end of the season? 
I think first and foremost it's all about enjoying tonight. Um, you know, we need to get some rest and uh, get some treatment to some of the boys. We've got a few knocks tonight and then we can, you know, concentrate on, on Manchester United tomorrow. It's gonna to be a, a very difficult game. They're a fantastic team, but I think, you know, we're we're very confident after tonight and we go there and give it our best shot. Well done. Well done for going through the pain barrier. Thank you. It was great stuff. And John Toshek, what exactly have we learned about Liverpool tonight? What have they proved here tonight? Well, I think they were terrific. You know, in every area of the field, you look, they were, they were better than a, than a very poor Real Madrid side. And um, it's quite clear that this competition suits Rafa very much. And, and we saw how important Torres and, and Gerrard are for the side once again. And... Uh, the moment you wouldn't you wouldn't bet against them going on and, and winning it and such a boost to Liverpool to see Torres back at his very best well I think uh, as I said Torres and Gerard really they've got that understanding and and I mean Madrid will be very very disappointing you know the sign of real greatness or quality is is when you know what two players can do and you mm. set out to stop them and you can't stop them sign and of people greatness. know people know how good Torres and Gerard are and the understanding that they've got they were aware of that beforehand, but they couldn't stop them. Yes. How close was Fernando Torres not to playing tonight? Was it a risk? It was very close because uh, he had the problem with the ankle, but the doctor uh, put an injection, so uh, OK. Uh, he had a strap, so it was under control, but um, still a, bit, a little bit of a risk, but the game was very important.